live in America before the internet changed us. Gonna be super interested to check this video out and see what people was doing before the internet came around. I'm excited to get into this. Before we do, I appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button. I do also have another channel that's at the top of my description. I'm posting daily on funny reactions, idiots in cars, crazy events that are happening. If you guys do want to check that out, it's the top link in the description. Let's get straight into this, see what we got. Before the internet came along, life was very different than what we see today. Okay. It's now easier to access information, shop, True. work, or just share your life with others. Right. These modern conveniences through the internet have changed the way we live. Some people oh, may yeah. argue that the past was better because we seem less busy and stressed, which made life more enjoyable. Okay, I can see that. Yo, to people that's experienced life with the internet and without the internet, what do you prefer? But how different was it really? In this video, we will have a look back at how life was before the internet. Okay. The internet has changed a lot of things in our lives and how we socialize is probably one of the biggest. Oh yeah. If we wanted to buy something, then we were going to have to get off our rears and go to the store. You went to the shops? The only <laughs> exceptions to that was something like the Sears catalog or the home shopping network. What is that? But really, this meant that we would have to socialize with at least one store clerk. Right. The same could be said for watching a movie. Yeah, people nowadays just order online. Well, I order online. I do have a shop around the corner from me that I do go to because it's just easy. So I do a little bit of socializing, but mainly I'm just getting things online though. If we wanted to see something a little newer than what was on television, then we had to get out. This meant that we would have to socialize at the movie theater or the video store in person and Yo, face to face. I remember like Blockbuster and stuff and going and like renting out DVDs. You know what? As easy and accessible things are with the internet and I wouldn't change it. It was fun like going and you know, try to like get your parents to take you and get, rent some games out of DVDs or whatnot. We did not have social media. Places like the mall were right. on Facebook of the time. People could spend all day <laughs> here and just socialize. Wow. I guess you could say this was our outer net since we did not have the internet. Outer. Today we have all of these conveniences right at our fingertips. And if yeah. you don't want to socialize, then you do not have to. When you it's actually crazy how time has changed, isn't it? Mention the word Amazon today, it makes you think about online shopping. Right. However, if you would have said Amazon <laughs> in the 1980s, then it would have meant the mighty river. Funny how right. things have changed. Yep. Long before we had MP3 players or Spotify, the radio was our main source of music. Okay. Sure, we could purchase albums, cassettes, and CDs at the store, but what if we were short on money? That's when the trusty old tape recorder came into play. Tape recorder? We recorded our favorite songs right off of the radio in order to have a mixtape. Wait, wait, you guys did that? I thought was going to say tape recorders and like, you tape yourself singing for your music. You would have a tape recorder, play the radio, tape the radio, and then you, to be fair, it does make sense if you got no other choice. But making one of these wasn't easy. Wow. You may have to wait for hours or even days in hopes of catching your favorite song. What? Not only that, but you had to be super quick on that record button when the time was right. The Yo. biggest hope was that the Jabbermouth DJ wouldn't talk over the beginning or the end of the song. That would definitely ruin what we were trying to do. Wait, how many people watching this video right now did that? Yo, that's actually blowing me away. That's crazy. Think for a second about how much dating has changed since okay. the internet came along. Yep. Many couples today have met their significant other online, whether it was from something like Tinder or AOL chat rooms. That is true. I gotta put my hands up. Uh, Izzy, my partner, I actually messaged her on Instagram. <laughs> So, yo, this is aimed towards me. A lot of you guys, especially if you uh, was around like day and went without the internet, you guys probably went out and went searching. But long before any of that came along, you had to muster up the courage to ask someone out in person. Yeah. This meant that you were going to have to hear the answer face to face, which Oof. wasn't always easy. Oh. The only exception we had to this was that little note that you would pass in grade school. Do you like me? Yes or no? 
Wait, is that, Rejection that can be difficult, and a computer screen can certainly save you some of the embarrassment. Right. Oh, for sure. Back in the dark ages and long before Google or Wikipedia, we had to find our information from books. If you were tech savvy in the 90s, then perhaps you used Encarta, which was a multimedia encyclopedia. What is that? But most of us grew up using the library or a set of encyclopedias. Right. This meant that looking up something simple could take quite a bit of time and effort. Ooh. Oftentimes, it would lead you to reading more information than you actually needed. Yo, no wonder people this older than, like, people that's the newer generation, right? No wonder you guys are like, you know more things about other things. Do you know what I mean? It's like when I ask my mom, my mom seems to know everything. <laughs> anything about anything. I'm like, how do you even know that, right? Like life skills and stuff like that, right? Is this why? Because I, you would be searching stuff up, but you just happen to find something else? Since it was a lot more difficult to look things up, this meant that it was easier for people to be more gullible. This was right. especially true when it came to urban legends. If you oh, had, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, Miss would go crazy during this time. Mention that you were a web designer before the internet came along, then you would have gotten some really strange looks. Yeah, they'd be like, what? Back then, spiders were the only ones who designed <laughs> webs. Now there are all sorts of jobs connected to the internet, which did not exist before. Oh, and life will time never to change. be the same. Yep. Something that has really changed is the ability to waste time in the office. It was a lot more difficult for us to look busy before we had the World Wide Web. Okay. What did people do before they could look at cute cat pictures, <laughs> shop for cars, homes, or get on Facebook? Read oh, books. Yeah, they worked. Oh. Productivity may be higher in this high-tech world, but it certainly is not without its share of distractions. Oh, yeah. Distraction, distraction, distraction. Bro, there's distractions everywhere, man. Even when I go to like try and record these videos, I will pick up my phone before a video, and then I'm on my phone for like 30 minutes. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing on my phone. Ah, distractions. Remember when social media posts were just something that you posted on a bulletin board? What? Before the internet, this is how you got the word out, whether it was at work, school, or church. <laughs> If you've ever been in some of the modern groups read it. or just on social media in general, then I'm sure you've witnessed some of the negative feedback. It's right. easy to do when you're online, right? But this same sort of negativity happened on our bulletin board post too. What? Someone might rip it off and throw it away, scribble through it, or no draw way. obscenities on it. <laughs> Cell phones and the internet have brought us mobile gaming, and you really can't go anywhere without seeing someone playing something. Right. But we had mobile gaming too. Before the internet, it really just meant getting out of the way when you were playing a game of horseshoes or jarts. <laughs> Nobody wanted to get hit with one of those, and you needed to be really mobile during the game in order to avoid injuries. Hey, hey, hey. Any of you guys ever played uh, horseshoes or darts like that? Another difference that you may have noticed with all of the cell phone usage is a lack of books, magazines, and newspapers. Oh, yeah, true, or at yeah. at least when you compare it to how it was. You don't, you don't see them as much anymore. Like, even when I was a kid, I I quite a lot of books. I've all, I always seen, you know, someone with a book, right? Or newspaper or whatnot. I haven't seen a newspaper in years. My granddad used to always get newspaper. I, I actually don't even know if he still gets it today. I don't know. I don't, he might still get the newspaper, but books, yeah. Even my granddad don't read books that much as he did. He watches a lot of Netflix now. <laughs> Much of it is going digital, but there will never be anything quite like right. cracking open a book. The smells, sounds, and physical feeling of it in your hands can really leave some lasting memories. Right, okay. Bad experience. Today, many people are playing multiplayer games online, but this used to be done in person. Many households hosted game nights where friends oh, and family would Monopoly. come over and enjoy tabletop and board games. These would These often have lots of food, drinks, and socializing. I remember doing like a family event where, um, this was when I was a kid, and we'll play Monopoly all the time. And my dad, I swear, he was cheating all the time. My dad, hey, dad, listen, if you're watching this, you cheated every single time, bro. Once and I was the only a kid. came along, these social gatherings seemed to decline. 
In right. recent years, there's been a little bit of a revival, and we can only hope yeah. that it will continue to grow. No, to, to be fair, like, a lot of people are still playing board games, though. A lot. Like, I know so many people, uh, well, I don't play, but what, Dungeons and Dragons, d and I know so many people that play that board game. The internet has spoiled us in many ways. We can email friends and family, text them, or just share special moments on social platforms right. like Facebook. Before we had any of that, we had to sit down with a pen and paper and carefully construct what we wanted to say. Wow. After we wrote it all out, we would enclose it in an envelope, slap a stamp on it, and put it in a mailbox Yo. so it could go out to who it was intended. You would have a conversation with someone that's like quite far from you, and it would... It, Yo, it would be like a week, two, three, a month conversation just for a little bit of information. That is crazy, bro. The entire process could take days and you never were quite sure if the other wow. person received it or oh, read yeah. it unless they responded in the same way. Oh, I've seen like even movies and TV shows. Like, for example, I bet you any money, like so many like love letters and stuff got lost. Like, you know, um... Was it Notebook where he was sending her letters and the parents was holding letters so she didn't receive it? So for that, I didn't totally ruin the relationship, man. Sure, we had the telephone, but it wasn't quite the same. We enjoyed getting mail. Okay. It was the only way that we could get pictures and other mementos over long distances. Yo, nowadays getting mail is bad news, bro. I hate getting mail, like letters, because it's either I've got to pay a fine I've got to pay a fine, or i got to pay something else, bro. It is never anything else. It's just, you owe us this. <laughs> That's and it. remember how exciting it was to receive Christmas cards in the mail and then tape them to your door or wall? Huh? We just don't seem to put in as much effort or thought into anything right. digital. That's true. That's true. Trolls now have a different meaning thanks to the internet. Before it came along, trolls were just mythical creatures that were found in children's stories or they ugly still toys. Look like that. People could politely disagree with one another in public and be perfectly fine. Right. Now it seems like being anonymous online brings out the darker side of human beings. Oh, yeah. Some of the behavior that you see on the internet today would have been unthinkable before it was around. Yeah, 100%. The term selfie has become a regular part of our vocabulary. Selfie. We can all thank the cell phone, which has made this much easier than it used to be. We can easily snap a photo of ourselves and then review it to see if we need to take another one. Wait, yeah, how would you do a selfie back in the day? The only way that that would have ever happened before <laughs> cell phones was with a Polaroid camera. Okay, people still have Polaroid cameras because they, they like it when it prints out. I know a few people with them. There was still some guessing involved, and it wasn't quite accurate. Yeah, it'd Most be of the hard. time, selfies involved using a camera with a timer and then hoping that everyone in the picture had their eyes open. I got in the picture. Some people might, on the end might not even be in. Of course, we never really knew if they had their eyes open until the film was developed. <laughs> Photo booths were really our best bet for getting a selfie. Right. They would take several shots, and it would help to ensure that you had that perfect selfie. But we had no issues with asking a complete stranger to take a photo of us. Oh, yeah, you could do that. Yeah, fair enough. GPS has helped us to get where we want to go with ease. Oh, this is probably the biggest one. I ain't gonna lie. This would affect me the most. It really would. I use maps for everything. Google Maps, I can't imagine life without it. I remember going on holidays when I was a kid and my granddad would use the, uh, the, 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 the actual physical map. Must have been a nightmare. Must have been, I, bro, there ain't no way. I, I would not leave the house if I had to use a physical map. There is no way. But there was no a way. time when we all thought that MapQuest was the greatest thing ever. What's that? We could enter where we wanted to go on the computer and then we had a full list of detailed directions to print out. Huh? However, long before any of that came along, we fumbled around with a paper map. We all had to learn how to read them and know our physical directions, too. If you did not do that, then we could always count on stopping in at our local service station for the best directions. Those guys could definitely get you where you needed to be. Right. Of course, there was nothing wrong with being lost and then figuring it out on your own. To be fair, I bet so many people enjoyed, like, you would have a story to tell, you know what I mean? And when you when you would go on adventures, it's all about stories. So I bet you so many people actually enjoyed that part.
But I'm talking about everyday life. Like, yeah, if I'm going on holiday, it might be funny or, you know, a story to tell. But like everyday life, bro, I need maps. I need maps. Those were called adventures. Adventures, yeah. For many of us, life before the internet seems like a distant memory. It's almost like two different worlds. Oh, yeah, There it's are two many different younger worlds. people today that never got to experience how life used to be before the internet. Crazy. What are some of the changes that you've seen, and is it better or worse in your opinion? Let uh, us know in the comments below. In my situation, I need the internet. Otherwise, you can't see my videos and I can't engage with you guys, you know what I mean? So I need the internet. In my situation, the internet is better. But I can see where people would say that, like, life without the internet would be better. Because it's more adventurous, more fun, more exciting, do you know what I mean? You actually go out and socialize, do stuff. So, yeah, there's more, like, stories and adventure to life without the internet. But in my situation, bro, I'm picking internet all day, every day. But, yeah, you know what? I, I actually wouldn't mind to, like, for a week or two weeks. Especially, like, a holiday with life without the internet. It would be fun. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, really good video. Let me know what you guys think to this video in the comment section. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv for slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.